If you're sick of this being the sound you hear every time you record in GarageBand, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own custom metronomes to use as your click tracks when you're recording in GarageBand. Let's go. A metronome or click track is used to make sure that when you record, you're in time, you're on the grid. But I don't know about you, but that sound doesn't inspire me. Now, yes, you can come here into your settings and you can change up your metronome sounds here. You can click here and you can change it through a click or a wood block or a hi-hat or a rib shot or no sound, which I've never really understood. You can even change the level of the metronome. So if you want to have it louder or softer, you can do all of that. But how about instead of that, we actually just make our own metronome out of whatever sounds we want. Let's show you that now. Method number one, and probably the simplest way, is to add a drummer track. So all we need to do for this is to come down here, hit the plus button, scroll across until we get to the drummer. Now you can choose from acoustic, electronic, or percussion. We're gonna go with a percussionist here because this is a laid back kind of mellow sound. You can see there, it'll immediately create an entire track here. We've got Isabella on percussion, and if we hit the play button now, Now we've still got the metronome on, we can turn it off by tapping there, but now we can come out here and we can control this as a track. So we can have Isabella playing. We'll just mute that one out there. We can have Isabella playing here. And now what I'm recording, And you can tell there, because I recorded this to the metronome, it's actually not really on the grid. It's not in the pocket. So I'll need to re-record this with one of these methods that I show you. So once again, tap there and go to your drummer. Now, if you want more of an acoustic drummer, you can do that. You can choose your drummer from Kyle or Logan, Anders, all the people. Let's bring Darcy in here and we'll mute out our previous one and have Darcy in here. So you might want to record along to a bit more of an acoustic drum sound. Now, how much better performance am I going to get from my guitars if I'm recording to that instead of our old friend, the metronome? But what if you want a little more control? Well, instead of the drama track, you can add a drum track. So let's hit the plus button again. This time, instead of drummer, we're going to scroll across until we find drums and tap on the more sounds here. Now you can choose whatever drum kit you want to use. So you can use an acoustic, electronic, or percussion. Let's go to percussion again, and let's go to the studio percussionist, because maybe we want some bongos. Maybe we want to go. Well, guess what? We can record this in. So if we come in here, now this, you will need the metronome on to record this, but all we really need is a couple of bars of this. So let's turn on our metronome. Let's hit record and let's record in our own backing track. There we go, hit the stop button there. And you can hear we've changed that metronome sound. So the reason that it sounds different there is that when we were playing around before we changed it to a rim shot, let's put that back to a wood block, my favorite if there is such a thing. So now that we've created this, we can come back out here to our track and there it is. All we need to do now is loop this out. So if we've got this here, we can just make sure we drag it back so it's right on the two bars there, then tap it and loop it. And it'll just keep going on throughout the entire track. Turn off the metronome now. Now, what if your timing's not quite right? Well, never fear, because you can actually use the quantization. If we tap on the mixer icon here, we go to plugins and effects. Nope, wrong one. We go to track settings. We can go to quantization. And you can see here, we can put either swing, triplet, or straight quantization. But these are eighth notes, so we can tick eight, tick eight note there and hit play. And it's gonna be right in the pocket. As you can hear, it doesn't match my guitars because they are not. So there's your second method to create your own manual drums. And again, you can use any drama, any different type of kit, percussions, electronic, acoustic, the choices are yours and you're gonna get a much better performance. Method number three is to use the beat sequencer. What is the beat sequencer, Pete? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's hit the plus button and here under drums, you'll notice that we also have this, the beat sequencer. Let's tap on that one. This is gonna open up your beat sequencer. Now you can just start creating a beat here. It's gonna give you the modern 808 kit, which won't quite be right for this, but let's just say we wanted a straight kick snare pattern. 
we could do that. And to record it in, just hit record. Give it a couple of bars. Stop it. And there you go. We've created yet another way to make our own metronome. Drag it back to the two bars and loop it out. Well, there we go. Tap it. Loop it. And we've got another metronome there. Now, you probably won't want to use something like the 808. What if you want cowbell? Yeah, maybe you're all about the cowbell and you want more cowbell in your metronome life. Well, you can do that. All we need to do is change up the kit by tapping in the bottom left here. We'll go to a percussion kit. Uh, I believe that the coffee shop kit has a cowbell. Turn it off. That's too complicated. First thing we need to do here is tap on the pattern browser here. Go all the way to the left and go to new pattern, which is going to blank it out there so we can create our own. Now, if you look at all the things we have here and the thing you want isn't there, we'll just turn that off for the moment, then you can hit this plus button because there's some more stuff down here. And you can see here, we don't have the cowbell. We've chosen the wrong kit, no problem. We can come back here and we can go to the studio. I am pretty sure that the studio has our cowbell. If we hit the plus button there, there it is, cowbell. You can preview it. And then you can tap it and it will add our cowbell. So if all we want is a cowbell on our one, two, three, four, we could create that really easily by adding it there. Now, if we just hit the record button again, or, or turn it, actually it'll turn on automatically, hit record and it turns on. There you go. We've created it again. And the reason you only need a couple of bars is we're not going to vary this up. So just drag that back to your two bars and loop it out. And then you've got complete control here because the cowbell might be a bit quiet for your track. So you just turn up the volume. And then when you're playing along and recording to your brand new metronome. Cowbell for the win. So there you have it. Whether you use your own drums, the drummer, or you use the beat sequencer, there are many ways to do this. Hey, you could even bring in your own drum loops and import those. If you want to learn how to do that and a bunch of other stuff here in GarageBand, go and check out the other videos linked in the description. Don't forget to like this one if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more tips, and I'll see you next time.